All right, guys, today we're going to be talking about Magic Puzzles, which is one of my all-time favorite apps. Before we get into this app, I want to remind you to please subscribe, comment, and like. Follow me on Twitter at Gonzo3303, add me to Google+, like my Facebook, all that stuff will be down below. So let's go ahead and get into this review. Magic Puzzles is a free app available in the App Store, and it is exactly what it sounds like. It is a puzzle app. So when the iPad came out, this seemed like the perfect candidate to have digital puzzles. I love puzzles. I make them all the time. And being able to carry a whole bunch of puzzles with you and make them wherever you are is something that I think is really awesome and is something that I use every day. So it's a free app and it is very simple to use. All you have to do is open it up and you are presented with a few free puzzles that they provide for you. And there is a beginner mode, an advanced mode, professional mode, and a master mode. So beginner is 42 pieces, advanced 72 pieces, uh, professional 143 pieces, and master 288 pieces. And then you can even go in a level advanced and have the pieces rotate. And that'll give you another level of difficulty. So you are provided with a few free puzzles and they are really fun to make. So say we just click on it, we'll go ahead and enter the app, uh, the puzzle I mean, and you have all your pieces right here on the side and you're able to scroll through. And when you want to put a piece in, you just drag it and put it in. Another thing is that when you're making puzzles, you oftentimes build the sides. So you click this corner button right here and all these pieces turn into just the side pieces. So you can put these here and just create all the sides. So this app is very easy to use and is very, very responsive to uh, where you're putting the pieces, how you drag it out, and it just works extremely well. Back in the menu, you can browse all your puzzles that you have downloaded, and there is a store where you can buy more puzzles. There are a lot of free ones, and there are a ton of ones that you can buy. And I literally use this app every single day. It is something I use when I go to bed to get me tired. I usually make one puzzle, if not more, at night in bed while I get tired. And I just, I don't know, I love this app. There are a few gripes I have with it, and one major one is there are ads everywhere. And they get really annoying because they're right next to the pieces. So oftentimes you will go to grab one. Say I'm building something over here, I go to grab one, and I accidentally click over here, and it pops up and disrupts what I'm doing. And with an iAd, not that big of a deal, because you can just exit out, but some of them are iAds, some of them are not, so it'll take you out of this and go into iTunes, which is really, really annoying. And it's something that I would like to be able to get rid of. Currently, this is a free app, and there is no way to get rid of ads, and that is something I would definitely like to see changed in the future. Other than the ads, there's really nothing to complain about. This app is almost perfect. Another suggestion I would make is to be able to use your own pictures for puzzles. That would be awesome. I would even pay, uh, probably, I would pay $3 for this app if you were allowed to make your own puzzles. That would be awesome. But since we can't do that yet, there are a ton of puzzles that you can buy. And as you can see, there are just a few packages that I've downloaded and it's still scrolling and scrolling. These are all puzzles you can make. I've made probably three quarters of them of the ones I've downloaded. So all these I've made so far. And this is just an addicting app that I use all the time, every single night. And the addition of having difficulty levels is really cool. So that's it for this app review, just really quick. This is thought I'd share this because this is my favorite app uh, pretty much ever that I've used on the iPad. And I use it every single day. So that's about it for today. And uh, remember to subscribe, like, comment, follow me on Twitter at Gonzo3303, add me on Google+, uh, Facebook, all that stuff will be down below. Remember to subscribe, comment, like again, and I'll see you guys in the next video. See ya.